Hey guys, Moshe the Electric Israel is here. Thank you for joining. Please subscribe, support this channel. Thank you to all of my supporters. And today is Cybertruck and Elon Musk has revealed that Tesla uh, production model of the Cybertruck is going to have some uh, changes. They're not significant, but they are very interesting. As you know, the Tesla Cybertruck uh, revelation the uh, introduction of the Cybertruck was just a bombshell, almost literally a bombshell. In, uh, as far as design, as far as specs, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, towing power, speed, um, you know, for everything. It was just a jaw-dropping uh, a, a revelation of this Cybertruck. And no less than half a million people put their hard earned hard earned a hundred dollars including me i think i was one of the first ones uh put a hundred dollars to reserve this truck i reserved the tri motor but basically what elon musk said in a reply to a, a tweet by a guy named jason jason asked uh, what's the biggest change to the cyber truck so far from prototype unveil and says elon musk reduce size by three percent center line is more level and lower window uh, seal high. I have to tell you, it's hard for me to um, to visualize this, but here's some some numbers. So the prototypes of uh, of Tesla and Vel was uh, 231.7 inches long, 79.8 inches wide, and 75 inches tall, with up to 35 degrees approach angle, 28 degrees departure angle, and 16 inch. Uh, ground clearance so he can he must continue to say we probably reduce the width by an inch and maybe reduce the length by six inches that's a lot six inches is a lot without losing uh on utility uh or um aesthetics uh minimum height is below 75 inches when air suspension said to low okay that's that's makes sense um <clears throat> we'll uh, post exact numbers soon However, so it's going to be uh, shorter, it's going to be not as tall, and it's going to be not as wise, uh, wide. So, um, so my question is, uh, how in effect is going to look? As, as long as it's going to look the same way it was in the, uh, uh, in the reveal, you know, with all these angles and the exoskeleton, if it's a little shorter, it's a little less longer, it's a little less wider, that's okay. It's, I, I guess it's for all kinds of aerodynamic reasons uh, range. But here's what I, I, I can tell you. Here's what I can tell you. First of all, Tesla uh, Cybertruck does not even have a, a gigafactory yet. Elon Musk is uh, said that he wants to do it in central United States. Uh, many states are trying to woo uh, Elon Musk. The latest one was Missouri. Uh, was trying to offer him a billion dollar of tax incentives with low labor costs per hour and really uh, skilled workers. So first of all, he has to do that. Then if he is hoping to start produce for next uh, produce and deliver for the end of 2021 well that decision has to come first and has to come quick we all know that uh my prediction is this from the tesla website there are three versions there's the uh single motor 250 miles for 39 let's say 40 000, let's make it round it up forty thousand dollars the dual motor for 300 miles for 50k and the triple motor for uh 500 miles for uh 70k i say that the 300 miles probably going to reach to 400 and the 500 miles is probably going to stay around there or get up to 550. And I also predict that the single motor will never produce and never sold, never sold. Just like all the Tesla's base models from Tesla model S 40 kilowatt and from the, from the Tesla model three, 35,000 and from, uh, the Tesla model Y, uh, uh, you know, base model 220. They will, they will never be, they were, they were never produced. And even the model three that produced sold very little. So that's prediction number one. Please let me know if you agree. I think that's going to, that's what's going to happen. But with the battery technology that Tesla has from now until next year, I am telling you that the range will be greater. The power will be greater. The speed, I mean, the speed is great already, but uh, the single motor, the lower level, not too many people pre order it. I can tell you that 17%, uh, uh, but 
knowing Tesla, this, this will not be revealed. I mean, they will not be produced or sold. And the higher end will be the most sought after. People want range. People want options. Okay. I can tell you that range is the king. You need range when you travel like I do around the country. So let me know what you're thinking. I don't visualize. I don't know if you can visualize. Um, how the Tesla model, uh, Tesla uh, Cybertruck will look like in this different configuration. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.